Hello, welcome to our video about the Launch Control Pulse system. This is a system for firing fireworks by remote control. The Pulse is the first system on the market that really doesn't have a limit to how many fireworks that you can let off with it, whereas normally there has, in the past there has been a restriction as to how many fireworks you can light. In the basic Pulse box you get a firing board, get a cable to connect onto the fuse igniters, you get some fuse igniters, a connecting clip for the cable, and a cable that allows you to expand the system. You can see here we've got two of the launch controls on a board, there are little screw holes in the board itself so you can fix it onto a board and you can see here we've got a cable linking two of the boards together. You could then add another cable on and link three boards and four boards and so on and so on. These are the e-clips, the fuse clips that actually light the firework and these just open up like a little clothes peg and actually clip clamp onto the fuse and they sort of clamp there and that's actually what lights the firework. Now there are two things that you don't get with the launch control system that you do need to purchase separately. The first is a battery and you need a 9 volt alkaline battery. If you're running more than one board you don't in fact need more than one battery. As you can see we've got two boards here but only one battery powering them. The suggestion is that you put in a battery every few boards just to boost the power. And the most important thing that you will need is you'll need a Cat5 cable. The cable that the basic set comes with isn't long enough to fire the fireworks from a distance away. And so this is just a standard computer Cat5 cable. However, you do need a copper cable. A non-copper cable will not work, although it will fit into all the plugs, only the copper cables will light the fireworks. How you assemble the system is you get your cable, like so, which is going to go to the fireworks, and you fit onto each one a fuse clip. Now these little bits here are coloured, and there's a green one, a black one, a red one and a blue one. And you fit these clips onto the fireworks. So these are ready to be clipped onto the fireworks. We're now going to plug this into our connecting clip, like so, and then we're going to clip our Cat5 cable in like so. The Cat5 cable then pushes into this socket here on the board and each board has got one of those sockets on it there. So if we had another board here with a connecting cable going from that one to that one we would then need another Cat5 cable running off to another four fireworks. We'll run these out now to the fireworks just clip this fuse clip onto the actual fuse itself. Just make sure that it's well fixed on there. Second one. Third. And the fourth clip. They're all fixed nicely the fireworks. We're now ready to light the fireworks. There's an arm button on the boards 
but you only press the arm button on the one unit here and that will light up all eight of the fireworks that we've got linked on these. We have four on this cable and four on this cable. If we had another board we would then have another four and we would then have 12 lights to light up. You can light the fireworks in any number. They're number one, two, three and four on each board there but you can press that one and then that one and that one and that one and it also doesn't matter how quick you press the buttons as well. So if you want to get for instance all of these four fireworks going almost instantaneously you just press them one, two, three, four in rapid succession. Do the first board here first. We'll arm the system and you just press down and hold and it's simple. We'll press down and arm again and you can see fire one has gone out there so there's no there's no uh, chance of those lighting that one again by mistake. We'll press uh, these three in rapid sequence so you can just see for a, a larger firework display that you could do Now we'll go and examine the Eclipse and you'll be able to see now that these in fact have burnt out. Each of these has fired and this is the only part in the system that you have to replace and these would just pull out And you could replace those then by just buying some extra of the Eclipse and that's what they look like before they've been fired. And there again they would just push on uh, for use next time. We'll do the next board now. We press the system here and you can see all of those now are all fired. And we've now got four lights here on this second board. And just to show that you can light them out of sequence we'll press that one there first. Off that one goes. So you can see that you could run uh, quite a large firework display on this uh, and I have seen personally, I have seen 10 of these boards in a row that that would light 40 fireworks. So for a large display, uh, quite simple to do just by the press of a button there. They can fire all types of fireworks. We've just been demonstrating fountains here because they're quite concise and you can see them all together there. But we could fire rockets, we could fire... Uh, Roman candles, you could fire Catherine wheels. It doesn't make any difference what type of firework it is because as soon as the fuse has been lit the Eclip drops off the fireworks. Jordan's fireworks are authorised distributors for the launch control pulse system and carry the basic starter sets and the additional Eclipse that you would need to purchase to reuse your system. We hope you've enjoyed this video.